Well, what do you know? One of the primary architects of the UK's repeated lockdowns has been caught repeatedly violating lockdown. Health Secretary Matt Hancock was having an affair with an aide he hired last year with taxpayer money, at a time when Brits were told they couldn't even shake hands with each other. Hancock was busy shoving his tongue down the throat of his mistress, then going home to his wife and three kids. During the same lockdown period that the Queen was forced to sit masked up on her own at her husband's funeral, Hancock was doing this. Matt Hancock has a messy personal life. Who doesn't? <laughs> what the fuck? This is a knobhead whose vehement advocacy and lobbying for lockdown denied tens of millions of people a proper private life. So yeah, it does matter what he was doing in his private life and he should be fired for it. Let me repeat that. This dickhead has been lecturing everyone else about what they can and can't do for the past 15 months while doing whatever the fuck he wants in total violation of the rules that he imposed on us. This twat literally told people they weren't allowed to have sex outside established relationships while he was cheating on his own wife. How long is this casual sex ban going to last? You're saying that no social distancing needed in established relationships. What about people who are not in an established relationship? Why am I whispering? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. You're, you're live on national TV, <laughs> Indeed. Kate. Um, the, um, uh, look, there are... There are... There are... There are <laughs> a Whitehall whistleblower told The Sun it was shocking that Mr Hancock was having an affair in the middle of a pandemic with an advisor and friend he used public money to hire. Not really shocking though, is it? Because it's not the first time it's happened. Professor Neil Ferguson, who's warning that half a million Brits could die of Covid unless a lockdown was imposed, became the basis for government policy. A man who was so personally concerned about the spread of the virus that he repeatedly violated the first lockdown in order to have sex with a 38-year-old married mother of two who travelled across London to visit Ferguson on numerous occasions. Isn't it interesting how the likes of Hancock and Ferguson spent the last 15 months filling the population with dread about COVID-19, while in their own private lives treating the threat of the virus with no seriousness whatsoever? Really makes you think. Fake crying on TV over the importance of fighting the virus while literally spreading it himself. When Ferguson was caught, Hancock called for him to resign. I think that he took the right decision. You, you wouldn't have... To uh, resign, that yeah, is. Yeah, you, you wouldn't have fought to keep him. It's just not, that's just not possible. Is Hancock going to do the honourable thing too? Boris Johnson accepts Matt Hancock's apology for breaking social distancing rules and considers Matt a closed. It's okay when we do it. Just like the G7 elite posed for staged, socially distanced photo ops before having massive barbecue parties, Hancock was careful to ensure that he remained socially distanced from his mistress during public appearances, a pantomime that soon vanished once the cameras stopped rolling and he started shagging. Same with the likes of the ever-insufferable Kay Burley, Piers Morgan and Gary Lineker. One rule for them, another rule for us. <laughs>